Today I'll be doing Regulus, in which is a fixed star in Leo at 29 degrees and has an orb of 2 degrees. The Sun joins Regulus on August 22nd in the Leo constellation of Stellarium. Uh, Regulus is known by a Polish astronomer Coponius, 1473-1543, and diminutive of the earlier Rex equivalent Greek, translated to Little King of the 2nd century Greek astronomer Platomy, which was from the belief that it ruled the affairs of heaven, a belief in current till three centuries ago from at least 3,000 years before our era. If the star is great, the great lion is gloomy, the heart of the people will not rejoice. The four royal stars are the guardians of heaven, and which are Fomahawk, Regulus, Albedarian, and Terrus, and Regulus. They're the cardinal points assigned to Hasterang and is termed to be the northern variant to the south tracer of the east, devious of the west, but not to identify those titles with individual stars. It's the heart of the lion. Uh, people that are known to have Regulus on their sun, on their ascendant, um, are known to be very noble leaders, very strong. They carry the Leo. They've carried the strong Leo attributes. Um, now, if it's negatively aspected, Regulus will cause like destruction, uh, negative self-image in the public eye, um, aggressive nature, uh, arrogance. I hate it, it it's a trait. Um positively regulus would be noble, gallant, um generous. All the positive signs of Leo. Um negatively of course it would be selfish, arrogant, hostile, aggressive. Um it's one of the four key stars. Like I had said before, with Albedarian and Terrus, Fomahot. Um, Platomi was one of the first people that ever talked about the four fixed stars. All the ancients, they used the fixed stars. They didn't use like all the asteroids like we have now. Now, they knew about them, and they cataloged a lot of them. But they did not use them because the fixed stars have to be within five degrees of your personal planets to be counted. And if they're not within five degrees, it's considered like null and void. Um, here's a little history on Albert, uh, on Regulus. Alpha Regulus was the chief star in the eighth Nashikarta, the hidden Hindu moon mansions that bore its name Magla, made up by the components of the sickle, Leo's mane and head, Alpha Regulus, described as the basis of the sickle, Gamma, Algabia, Aljahaya, uh, Ras, Aeus, Austrius, the symbol of Magia, the mighty, was in the house. The regents were the Petrus, the spirits of the dead ancestors, or the fathers ruled by the dragon's tail. If it's ruled by the dragon's tail, that means it's ruled by Rahu, and which is your north node. Oh, no, 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 dragon's tail. That would be south node. The influences of the 8th house in the moon mansions, like I had said before, this is the Hindu tradition. Uh, severe antiism belonging to the Shudra class and favorable for acts of disgrace, destruction, deceit, imprisonment, beatings, burnings, and poisons when containing the moon.
Those born on a lunar day will be wealthy, fond of his hills, merchants, valiant, and women haters. With the moon there at birth, native will be wealthy, religious, content, well served, and fond of life. Rules grain boxes and lips of the upper mouth. Ptolemy also makes the following observations of the stars in Leo. Two in the head are like Saturn and party like Mars. The three are in the neck like Saturn and in some degree like Mercury. Those are the loins. Saturn and Venus, those in the thighs resemble Venus and in some degree Mercury. It is said that these stars in the neck, back, and wing all bring trouble, disgrace, and sickness, affecting the part of the body ruled by the sign, especially if they happen to be in conjunction with the moon. Like I said before, the moon is associated, the dark side of the moon is Rahu, and that's how it will be connected to the moon. By the Kabbalists, Leo is associated with the Hebrew letter Kaf, and the 11th tarot trump strength. It says, the astrological influences of constellation by Manus, those who doubt the nature of the monstrous lion and the pursuits he prescribes for those born beneath his sign. The lion ever devises fresh fights, bet, bleh, fresh fights and fresh warfare on animals and lives on the spool and pillage of flocks. The sons of the lion are filled with the urge to adorn their crown portals with pelts and to hang on their walls and capture prey, to bring the peace and terror of the woods and live upon the plunder. There are those who are like bent, not checked by the city gates, but they swagger about in the heart of the cap capital with droves of beasts. They display mangled limbs on the shop front top, slaughtered to meet the demands of the luxury and count it as a gain of kill. Their temper is equally prone to fitful wrath and readily withdraw with gillis and sentiments into their honest hearts, astronomical, Manus, first century. Now, like I said before, there are good aspects to Regulus. There are bad aspects to Regulus. There are good aspects to any fixed star. There are bad aspects to any fixed star. A lot of the descriptions that you'll find are from the early 1st and 2nd century, written by Babylonians, um, Egyptian, Hebrew, Sumerians. Um, they were the first astronomers, and they wrote the passages to Hindus. Uh, they have the, the oldest books, actually. Hindus do on astronomy and astrology. Um, like I was saying before, any fixed star that is connected to a personal planet within five degrees will show characteristics of that planet depending on how it's aspected. If it's aspected negatively, it will show negative aspects. If it's aspected positive, it will show positive aspects. You also have to look at the house lords. I know it's not taught very often anymore in Western astrology, but the house lords are very important. Say, for instance, you have Regulus in your first house. The house lord is Aries, which is trine or sextile, depending on how it's aspected, with Aries. Aries is the house lord. Say your first house is Saturn. You have Saturn first house and your, your ascendant is Capricorn. Well, your first house is going to be an enemy house to Regulus, which will cause your, any planets in the first house will either be squared opposition to the house lord. And the house lord tells you how the actual planet in that house is expressed. It's like saying that your um, the house lord acts at how I always describe it. It's say you have a landlord that doesn't like you. And he's trying to evict you all the time or cause, your, cause you trouble all the time. He's going to disrupt anything good he's gonna make it where it's complete and total hell in the house um 
say you have a good Lord in your house. Say your first house is Leo Ascendant. Say you have a Leo Ascendant, Trine, Neptune, and Sagittarius. All three of those signs are sextile to Leo. Sextile or trine to Leo. And they're all in fire signs. They're all in the fire element, which means they all get along. Say your first house is trine. So if you put Regulus in there with a Leo ascendant, and say, for instance, you have, um, say you're an air sign. Put it out there. You're an air sign, you have a Leo ascendant, you have Regulus in the first house with Neptune and Sagittarius, Regulus in the first house aspecting your sun within five degrees is going to show a positive aspect because the house lord likes leo it's like they're 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 boys that go to the bar you know they're they get along they're best friends that's the difference between having a good house lord and a bad house lord in ancient and traditional it's called enemy houses and friendly houses is your house friendly or is it an enemy and when it's an enemy it's going to cause those aspects of that planet or that fixed star it's going to show the negative aspects of that planet and that star if it's negatively aspected in the first house regulus is going to show destruction dismay uh arrogance uh narcissism um lie cheat steal whatever he can get to get what he wants to get fame that's what will happen if it's positively aspects it will be noble it will be gargarious it will be generous it will be kingly it will be loving it will give all the it will retain all the kingly attributes of leo I'd like to say thank you for listening to my breakdown of Regulus, and I'm going to be doing more fixed stars. I may do another one today. Um, I'll be doing Albedarian probably next, um, but please like, share, and subscribe, and I'd like to say thank you to everybody that listens to my videos, and there'll be more to come. Thank you.